This is the grind. Yo, it's rip right or dip left, man. Yeah, so this is the first thing that we're gonna do. The USPS. Okay, so we on the move. You got the Addy, bro? This is what we come in to pick up. It wasn't a lot. That's why we said, uh. But if you drive five minutes out, Allah opened the door for us. 3,260. Thanks a lot. But as I said, it's Friday, so I have to come through Jumai. I gotta fill the U all up with gas. You remember my Audi? Yeah. I wrecked it. How that happened? 61.88. To rent the U haul was probably $200. A quick two, three hour rest. Cause it's about to get real messy. I'll wait till tomorrow. There's no tomorrow. You gotta get it done now. Oh, he worked out all day. I don't have time to work out all day, guys. I don't have time. It sounds good. Maghrib just came in, got one full bucket done, a little bit over a half a bucket. Now I'm going to go work out, I'm going to do a set. It is time. There we go, time to sweat y'all. Time to suit ready. <coughs> Pain train, and then save it. I got to eat, I'm going to pray Isha. Alhamdulillah, Rabbin Alameen. Eat some curry goat. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuh. To alert our hadith disciples, YouTubers, and viewers, welcome back to a new video on Ripright HD. Now, it's about 6.30 in the morning. Alhamdulillah, I woke up. Prayed fajr and it's really time to get to work. And that is the current time, guys. This is the grind. Yeah, so this is the first thing that we're gonna do. Snatch these and get them in the U-Haul. <sighs> or so because the U-Haul is parked a little bit further away from the door, I'd rather just do less work. So I'm gonna come outside real quick um get in the u-haul get ready bring it a little bit closer to the door and just dump it in the front seat um more than likely if 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 Qasim, if y'all didn't know that's my boy mel's name right his islamic name if he if he not super tired he's gonna be driving while i do my vlogging but if he's super tired and i'm gonna may have to drive and let's see if he could uh, sleep a little bit and then help me with the vlog. So let's get to work. U-Haul time. All right, y'all see them bars. Early in the morning. Ooh, that AC kicking. Yo, it's rip right or dip left, man. Keep telling people, man. You know, they think it's a game on how to make this money. It's constant work. Because what happens if you stop making money? Can't pay your bills. Everything shut down. Yeah, so now I'm going to just go right in the crib real quick. Uh, snatch that bag out. Um, we got a little box, too. I think the box is going to UPS, or maybe it couldn't fit in the um in the bag. The rest of the packages. But yes, so it depends, because Mel does most of uh, every package, right? Um, and then we have another package guy. So, it depends if we use UPS or USPS on the pricing. And we go through a specific app. Now the name of that app is, uh, what is the name of the app again? Uh, it's, oh, it's called Pirate Ship. What's so beautiful about that app is that it's gonna give you the best pricing for whatever package you put, whether it be UPS or USPS. So sometimes if we put in 
the package and the size. And let's say it says nine dollars and twenty-five cents. If you do UPS, it shows you that it'll be eighty cents more if you use USPS. So we'll just say, all right. We, so we have packages that'll be UPS and USPS, depends on what ship because it might not seem like eighty cents or twenty-five cents or twenty-two cents. But what happens is when you're doing thousands of packages, it adds up. You said, dang, I sent out 2,000 packages. That was 25 cents more. And now you're looking at almost five, $600 or, you know, stuff like that, $1,000. And it's like, you got to try to save money every way you can, especially if you're in the product field. Because people know how much it costs. Let's go back inside. Yeah, so this is the last of it. So the grind is real. And we got a few orders right now from the community. I think I'm going to just do those orders right now too as well because, you know, if you sign up for the community, obviously you get a free ripstick, which is a dope situation. You can't lose with that. But people don't really understand the grind. Um, and then a lot of people understand the grind, but they understand grinding for somebody else, making somebody else rich when it comes to your nine to five. Which is not a problem. I, I, I don't never tell nobody don't get a nine to five because that's exactly how I started. And I think a nine to five is important. Even if you don't become a, a full fledged entrepreneur, um, you should have some kind of side hustle, some kind of way to get that bread on the side. It is imperative. See, a lot of people is not showing you this. So it's more to rip right than just calisthenics. Um, we do so much and this is why I wanted to show you guys this video so it's super important to show you exactly how I made a million dollars last year now watch what happens with this U-Haul and exactly where we're going and exactly what we're doing so you have to stay tuned alright so real quick we had like four packages from the community but one of them decided Yo, I'm not going to give him a full address, so he's jammed up right now. And this because... Want a banana? Yeah, why not? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so he's not too tired. Look, guys, he's headed over to drive, man. This guy's amazing. I'm telling you. Okay, so we on the move. You got the Addy, bro? Yeah. And it's roughly about 7 a.m. right now, so we kind of made it out the house um, in good timing. All right, guys. So right now, it's past my time that I usually post. Although I don't promote a post time, but it's just something that I do early in the morning to kind of, like, get the post that I need. Um, out and then I just chillax usually nap for a little bit so I'm about to get that post out and uh, keep you guys posted yeah four platforms you gotta get it out on them four platforms not to mention I also upload in my whatsapp stories and in the stories on all platforms as well it's just constant constant grind so right now it's about 8 42 so we've been driving for like an hour and 42 minutes basically you know a little bit tired um so we're about 10 minutes out yeah because usually this drive is about two hours to exactly where we're going and i'm about to show you all the game so right now we uh we just made it. Mel backing up that U-Haul. So as you can see, this is what we coming to pick up. This is going to be funny, but we might got to put it sideways. Now we can work with that. That's the with the yeah, because it, it wasn't a lot, so I said. That's the with the bag. Last few times. <laughs> Oh, I could have stacked them up high. I didn't even see that. 
Money sign, Bobby Sanders. That's that work. So that was a quick load up. And um, I think we got 28 uh, gray um, left. That's a whole pallet. And then we also, I got, I think, two bundles of, of pink. So that's 20 bundles. Uh, 20 bundles, which is about 2,000 feet. Yeah, so. Oh, you want to put this? Yeah, put this in there. Makes more sense. And then we'll drop it off at the post. But I gotta grab this, no freaky. <laughs> yeah, I know what time it is. But we're we'll doing more push pulls on the way back because we left it in the back of the trunk. I was trying to get right, bro. like three, four hundred on the way here. And then, then try to get another three, four hundred on the way back. Wait, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, y'all guys, I see that hard work pays off, right? I didn't even bring my rip right gloves. I'm slacking on my Mackin. But this is how I made a million dollars last year, right? Um, and, it, and, it's, and it takes work. Usually I can have them ship it. Or, you know, usually um, uh, Mel goes out. Uh, last time I think we did a pickup was with you and Carson, right? I mean, you and... Mustafim? Nah, he ain't been with me in a minute. Oh bro. yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, we did some pickups without him. I, I did. The, but I, the last like pickup the, that I remember that we did that was a major pickup was with with me, uh, you, uh, the day. No, me and Mo. That was you and Mo. Yeah. And then Mustafim and thing. That was a while ago, bro. Yeah, when we loaded up that thing. That was still a while ago. Bro. Yeah, but that was the biggest pickup we did. Ain't no other pickup after that. Like, bro, we had the we had the shed up to here. Remember? Yeah, but think about it. That's before we had the warehouse, bro. That was over. That was like a year ago. Yeah, that was the biggest pickup, my yeah, boy. Yeah, but that, that was a year ago. Think yeah, that, about how many times we've been back since then, bro. I've been yeah. back like mad times, bro. Yeah, but bro, at the end of the day, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that big pickup. And right now, so it was supposed to be 28 bundles of gray. Uh, I did one pickup uh, with stone. Yeah, 10 bundles of black. Um, it's supposed to be f uh, five bundles of blue and five bundles of yellow. And then also t two bundles of pink. I said, hey, let me do some pink, um, get the ladies right. But what's crazy, that's all they had. And I brought everything that they had, unless you order like ahead of time. And ahead of time, sometimes the lead time be three, four weeks. So usually what I've been doing is because we got also 5,000 sticks coming um, from Pakistan. But unfortunately, we've been waiting forever. Pakistan got delayed. Yom Eid. There was just so much going on. So um, I had to r run down here. And right now, you know, I, obviously the orders are going bananas. And we came back from Egypt, Dubai, Chicago. So just everything is backed up. I'm manufacturing, Mel's manufacturing, you know, we got more um, putting in paint. You know, we got like a three, four man team, you know, because I got somebody working Amazon and I can say five because somebody else is working on the ads. It's not like before where I was spending $28,000 just on employee um, payroll. That drink was, drink was cooking. Now it's, it's. It's less, way less, and then I'm able to actually maximize because I'm using an outside manufacturer. But clearly, that 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 ain't work yet either, because we still waiting on that. So I'm end up down here spending damn near ten thousand dollars again. This drink alone. Let's take a look. Let me see if you can see it. So this drink alone was thirty two. 160 and um i didn't even see the the receipt for the other one but we didn't pay for that yet when we come back from new york after selling on the boss inshallah we going uh drive back and snatch up the rest of that yeah because i think it's only 28 left um plus the other two yeah yeah so it's yes yeah, it's four i think it's a total of 40 
30, no, 50 bundles total. Yeah, 50 bundles, because the 28 plus this 20 plus two bundles. No matter of fact, we got red, five, um, five, five bundles of red, which is 500 feet, and five bundles of orange as well that we, are, um, we weren't able to get. So we're looking at about 60 bundles total. So when we come back, we're going to come with the big truck, drop the um, the 28, you know what I mean, real quick, right on the truck, and then get the rest of the loose bundles. Um, and then that's it, bro. Then I'm going to just show y'all the work in between time. You ain't, you never going, can't never lose can never lose i'm telling you you gotta be using your own product if you're not using your own product what we talking about a dude um i was telling the dude i'm like yo you know i do this for a living he's like yeah yeah i make money over fitness too i said it's the difference i make a living off of fitness like this pays for my lifestyle so i do it for real you know what i'm saying and for fun so when you ask me what I do for fun, this, <laughs> and I might be learning, but I ain't practicing. <laughs> See, I live off a very simple premise. I work like it ain't no tomorrow. So tomorrow, I ain't got to work. Anybody can get it. Y'all know my audio. Come on, right. man. Right. So, yeah, guys, we are almost home. what it looks like man a lot of farmland where we at you know you seeing the cows and what's crazy is we are actually in a city we got all the stores and everything we need um, whether it be Home Depot Walmart you name it um, they have it all within a two mile radius. Yeah, two mile radius, right? Nice little city, compact. But if you drive five minutes out, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna start seeing horses, goats, um, cows. And, you know, it's, it's it's nice. We 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 love it, man. I don't want to be jammed up, packed up, living on top of each other. I barely have neighbors. I own a whole block. Alright, so guys, as you can see, 10.44. And we kicking on the door. Record timing. We back in the hood. And I mean our neighborhood. So as you can see, different stores right here. Walgreens, CVS. Uh... Nice, nice little city out here. You know, all the gas stations you need. Um, Bell's Bondsman, don't want to see them. The Bell's Bondsman. Mm. Yeah, don't want to see the Bell's Bondsman. Now we headed to the post office. And then we're going to grab a bite. And then get ready for Juma R because it is Friday. Let's get it. And this is what happen. It just we'll be outside training and then the rain will come down and then, you know, we'll get that content. And you know? people will tell us we need to go inside and Yeah, go inside. It's raining. It's raining. You see they got their little Dunkin' Donuts set up there. Um and right here is this building. I used to use this a lot because this is where you get your permits for everything that you're trying to do on your property. You know, then you got the fast food spots. City Hall. Yeah, City Hall, Runner Center, Wendy's, McDonald's, Subway, Taco Bell, Burger King, um, more gas stations. ABC liquor. Nope, we won't be going there. Yeah, so this is what a day looks like, man. In the, trying to make it a million dollars. 
you seen you seen across the street? Not to mention this is up one that used to be our favorite store, Dollar Tree. Yeah, that's when we was. Yeah, that's when we was. <laughs> we was hurt. I mean, was Allah, hurt. Allah, Allah opened the door for us and gave us a way. We was hurting got, and still working. Got family dollar right here. And now we're about to hop out the whip with thobes on and 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 shoe socks. No, people, not me. I'm wearing sneakers today. People asking me like, yo, those is Kanye's like. Kanye's. We've been wearing these before Kanye. We've been wearing these two, three years before Kanye was even thinking about it. Yeah. It's my first time wearing shoes in, a, in a over a month now. Yeah, I wore some goat grips. Lucky me. Post office. Let's get it. All right, guys, so I didn't get the tape. As soon as we got back, it was raining, got in the crib. We didn't even get a chance to unload. But as I said, it's Friday, so I have to come through Jumai. Me and the bro Mel. I don't know where he at. Oh, he over there. I guess he's going to walk back in the rain like a bot. Yo, sexy. What's up, ma? Yo, yo, what's your name? <laughs> my man, my man trying to walk home in the rain. Look at him, good Muslim brother. Mashallah, getting those, getting those steps in. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Yo, yo, get in the car, bot. Man, oh man, driving past the HQ. I got to fix it. That's like this. What's the yeah, so what I'm gonna do um, is I'm gonna unload the joint. I can't do that with my white on, my boy. Oh, you trying to. Okay, guys, time to pack away the PVCs. Y'all know how we do. قال محمد هو ابن مالك أحمد رب الله خير مالك مصليا على النبي المصطفى وآله المستكملين الشرفا وأستعين الله في أنفيا Yeah, so I had to go get my old white though. Finish how you want to sleep. Sound like you're good. I'm going to sleep right after you. Yeah, I ain't. I'm fired up. Yeah, yeah, so Asa, Asa sounds about right. Because we we ain't getting no Z's, bro. We've been we've been running since the morning. Oh yeah. Come on. And then the U-Haul, what's that? Oh, yeah, the U-Haul, I got it. I got to bring the U-Haul back. Yeah. Nah, it's probably it's still inside, so it's consistent running. Not you. The day in the life of Islam. Running, rip right LOC. So for the people that just think, yo, he works out all day. That's all he does. That's why his muscle up is so clean. Think again, buddy. Oh, and I gotta go inside. I don't got my wallet, nothing on. I gotta fill the you all up with gas. All right, y'all, give me a second. I'll be right back. Door open, I'm gonna, let's go get this gas. Yo, if you haven't joined my community, join my community, bismillah. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm giving away some jewels and gems in here. You'll see. 
basically dealing with how to build your brand. Can't nobody tell me, yo, you you can't tell me how to build a brand. <laughs> I'm the best one to tell you how to build a brand. Because I did it. And I did it from nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, Rip Right, y'all know where we came from over 10 years in prison. No seatbelt on. doing over 10 years in prison um, I was still able to come out function in society and then you know build this brand from the bottom to the top and I gave away five secrets um, on how to do that right when it comes to social media but that's not the end all be all that's just scratching the surface yes yes sir What's good, bro? Yeah, I think you stopped yeah, by the... Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Much love, oh, You know bro. what's crazy? You remember my Audi? Yeah. I wrecked it. What? Yeah. How'd that happen? Rain. Rain. Oh, and you you, you spun out. I had no plane. I had a, I had a Damn, you was going fast. Yeah, good thing I had no passenger in my car. Yes, yes, sir. I had no passenger. And you wasn't hurt or nothing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. All right, much love, bro. Good to see you. Why they can sit down to the cat? Finally, it worked. 61.88. Yeah, so I'm in the store now. And it's crazy because I see this sign. Right. 21 and over for tobacco. Which is crazy. I remember trying to or wanting to buy that stuff as a young kid. And wishing you was older. But now, I wish you was younger. Yeah. Bro, we always rushing to be older, but I'm telling you, if you're 15, 16, you gonna wish when you turn 40 that, yo, bro, I wish I was a little, yo, it, it get hard, a lot of bi responsibilities, bills. I be telling people I spend about $20,000 a month to run my business, and they be thinking it's cap, but, bro, it's not. It's a fact. Drive a door open again, it's like you gotta slam this dude to get this joker to work. Yeah, so, as I said, 20K minimum every single month to run this business. Easy. Like, yo, what is 20K going to? <laughs> Well, come and join me and you'll find out. So if we're talking about 20K a month, so every 10 months, that's $220,000. And then when we add the other two months, you're talking about 260. You know what I'm saying? You can get a nice profit. Because I got other bills too. that I don't consider like necessarily dealing with the business. You know, that I use my personal expenses to handle um, depending on, you know, what it is, if it's personal, if I can't write it off on taxes and things like that. So yeah, bro, it's, 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 it's real. So you, you see a dude and be like, oh, he made a million. But how much was profit? That That's the question. How much was profit? How much is he keeping? And then you see with me, a lot, a lot with me is I don't, I don't go around flossing. So all of my money is usually put back into the business. And what I mean by that is it ain't just going to our expenses. No, I'm 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 adding more value to the business and doing new things and and not just running ads, you know what I'm saying? So there might be something where this is a new type of inventory. For example, sauna suits. 
uh, gloves. You know, all of that is just, it comes out of left field. You don't make the money yet. You buy it first and then make the money because I'm not doing drop shipping. You get what I'm saying? So it's a never ending cycle. It's constant money spent and you don't have the liberty to help everybody or help the same person consistently or pay somebody else's bills. You gotta pay your own bills, my boy. Hey, what's up with you, man? Yeah, you vlogging. Yeah, so he gonna check the U-Haul, tell us if we good to go, and then we out. Yeah, so real quick, to rent the U-Haul was probably $200, and then another 60 something dollars we talking about as far as gas. So 260 to go two hours out, two hours back, which is four hours, which it, it took up a lot of my time because in four hours I could have been making a lot of money. But the good thing about digital, you know, is with my sales, like everything is online. So obviously while I was taking that trip, yeah, it was time going that I can't get back. But I was making money during that trip. And also I was vlogging. So I'm gonna obviously make money if this is viewed. Um, then on top of that, those two hours going and coming roughly, you get time to edit and do other things on your phone. Opposed to if I was home, I could have got some other physical, like real physical work done. But you know, we were still waiting on sticks so there was no, no sticks to cut or nothing like that. So it's like, it's, it's dope when you just, in the, in the world of, you know, trying to make money while you sleep. And that's what we've been doing. We've been, we've been trying to make money while we sleep, which is good. Um, but other than that, I'm going to go back. I'm not going to lie. And I'm going to take a nap because I got to do a lot of cutting. Because we're going to head to New York for the 8th. And then what happens after that is we come back on the 13th. So while we're gone... My, the other packer, he's gonna have to have enough inventory because, like I said, um, sales is going crazy. We're a little, we're not backed up really, but we're we're backed up on work is concerned, in general. Yeah. Let me get this out the way. I throw it over because this is the yard. So yeah, we kind of like. So I'm gonna have to put in mad pain. So this is why I probably won't get to work out today. And if I do, I'll probably do a a dip imam and just keep the keep it keep it running. So you'll see. I'm gonna take it through three hour nap. Wake up, pray. Right now, it's like no matter of fact, two hour nap. Yeah, three hours because it's like two o'clock now. So I got time for the next prayer, get up, and then we're gonna work. So I'm gonna just keep you in tune with how my day, how my day is looking. Yeah, so I took a, a quick two, three hour rest, needed it, back like a spine. I woke up, prayed, asar, and now it's like time to work. It was raining a little bit. I was checking to see if it was raining still, but no, we're good. Let's get up in the spot because it's like time. Jump to work. Time to work. So what I'll do is, I'm going to cut for a couple hours. I might do like, let's say 10 packs, which is about 800 sticks. Um, so that's double, meaning it's two, two, uh, obviously two pairs equal one ripstick. 
and we'll cut till we have about 800 sticks. And look at this criminal. Like, get out of my way, my boy. Let's, let's... <laughs> مصليا على النبي المصطفى وآله المستكملين الشرفا وأستعين Okay guys, so Maghrib just came in as you can see, I got one full bucket done, and then a little bit over half a bucket, which was which was four packs, and that's gonna run me about 320 ripsticks. So if you guys don't know, this is a complete ripstick. So 320, right? is actually 320 double sticks so if I say I really cut 640 you know what I'm saying come on patch come on come on I'm gonna lock this now but he, he acting like he want to stay in there and watch him start crying coming to that next door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the lights right now and see if he come up. I wasn't going to work out, but you know, I'm going to go work out. I'm going to do a set and then I got to shower and try to get some editing done. Time to sweat ya. Sound the suit ready. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh to all the Ripper Hadith disciples, YouTubers, and viewers. Welcome back to a new video on Rip Right HD. Uh, and, it, and we're doing a vlog for our um, whole day of, uh, of working out. Not working out, but you know. I think the name of the vlog is going to be something to the effect of making a million dollars. You know, a day in the life of me. And how we made a million dollars last year. So y'all don't think I just work out all day. Surprised I'm even out here. Damn. Can you get my gloves on? Which is uh, 15 dips. From the 15 dips, we're going to the 20 squats. We're gonna do that for 20 minutes. This is a very simple set. The numbers is not crazy, but this is good to like kind of keep you, you know, in shape. This is one of those sets where you just maintain it. You're not doing too much, but you're not doing too little. It ain't one of those rinse, those rinse days, but <coughs> and then save it. All right, guys. So that's a wrap. I showered. I am cooked right now. Super tired. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta eat. Don't even know exactly um, what I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna pray Isha, and then. That's it, my night is done. Right, guys, so it's a wrap. Late night, about to eat some curry goat and some rice and peas bottle of water and that's my day it's 11:53, so right after this edit that's it 
for a couple hours, night, night. Stay tuned, y'all. Stay ripped. Six pack, big pack. Translation is a lump of flesh, a piece of meat. And when that lump of flesh. <laughs>